Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney and I am freaking excited because I have two really cool lounge fly bags to share with you today. One is this up wristlet bag that can be worn in two other really cool ways. And wait till you see the lining on this. And the other is maybe my favorite lounge fly of all time. In fact, I'll just go ahead and say it. It's my favorite lounge fly of all time. I'm so freaking thrilled with it. And it is the Alice in Wonderland book bag. It's just so cute and there's so many ways you can wear it and I can't wait to go through those with you. It's just, the details are amazing. So if you're interested in hearing about either of these two bags, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for more fun videos like this one. All right guys, so we'll start with the complicated bag, which is this Alice in Wonderland bag that I just received. I pre-ordered it a while ago and I could never have imagined at that time how much I would love it. I really, really do love it. And it's all about the details. So first off, it comes with three straps. Right now I have the two book bag straps on. So I have those pretty short, but they do lengthen a fair amount and you can always put it at whatever length you feel comfortable with. When you're not using these, you can just easily unhook them. And if you have this book on display, as I like to do, I just turn in, I just turn these in so they don't show when you're not using, you know, a strap on them. It just looks like a really nice book. So one thing I'd say is even if you're just getting this to put it on display, I think this is a super, beautiful bag and would be great for Ali any Alice in Wonderland collector because it's just an amazing display piece that you can really display in a lot of different ways. So I've displayed it already this week with this really cute flower pop because I thought how well do those go together? It couldn't be better. So if you're a pop collector and you have this Alice pop, these two go together really well and I've had it displayed like a book on the shelf and I've also had it displayed open, showing the pages, which are absolutely gorgeous. All of the details are so rich and vibrant on this. I love how they did the outline of the pages. They did not give you the, the page look on the outside of this bag, but I think it could have taken away from the overall design features that they did include, and I'm sure it's probably something they tested out. But overall, I do like the clean look that they went with of not having the individual pages show even in detail on the side of this bag. There's so much to look at, you really don't need that. And Loungefly does have other book style bags that have that detail. There's also a magnetic closure on this, so it does stay pretty well closed depending on how you're wearing it. And it will easily open when you need it to. And then you can see that there are two separate pockets on this, so it's really easy to store things in it. I will say that if you're taking this on the go, sometimes there are sticky points with the zippers. So like that one came across really easily, but I will find sometimes that when I'm zipping it, it will get stuck, here we go, at like a random point. Um, so that is one like a minor thing I've noticed as I've been using this on the go, but honestly, I really don't care about that because it's such a gorgeous bag. And for the most part, I'll probably be keeping it on display other than, you know, for important occasions, just because it does have that lighter interior to it and I don't want to get it marked up or dirty. I know that some collectors get more than one bag just so they can take one out. I don't have the budget for that so i'll just be taking very good care of this one but that said i love it i do think it's very wearable i um have already worn it out i wore it this weekend when i went to get my hair and makeup done for my wedding preview and the woman that was doing that i had just met her and she absolutely loved this bag so we connected on that which was really cool um the pockets on this have lots of room so that's really nice as well i am someone that brings my wallet my phone like makeup sometimes hand sanitizer wipes and all kinds of different things so i did pack this pretty tight and it holds a lot so i do 
think that it's a good bag in terms of what you can bring with you. I will say that in person, it was definitely bigger than it looked to me when I was looking at photos and videos of it online. So it's definitely gonna have a little bit more room than it may look like it has. I love that they included the door mouse on the inner binding. It's so cute. They have all the teacups and then the, the door mouse at the top. On the pages, it says, all of a sudden I began to fall down, 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 down. And you got your white rabbit at the bottom and Alice famously falling down the rabbit hole. And then on the other page, it says, off with their heads, the queen of hearts yelled. And just really iconic scenes. And I, I love what they chose for the inside of the book. And then you do get that really cute back hit of the Cheshire Cat with your classic lounge fly plaque here. And you know, they didn't have to give us that. Even if this bag had just been about this front cover and about being a book style bag, it would have still been cool. But what sends it over the top for me are these pages, the fact that it's magnetic, the, the fact that you can wear it so many different ways and that they give you three straps so when you take these off you don't have to constantly adjust to turn it into a crossbody bag keep these as your backpack straps that are at that length that you like and then make it a crossbody bag it's made for you know wearing and you know it, it, it's they've done everything to make it easy to use i think so i i did say on one of my posts in a comment that it's almost as if alice herself dreamt this bag up because that's how special it is and how much it feels like it came from someone's like magical imagination so i couldn't say enough about this bag i love all the little details that they have on here and i think it's a stunning piece whether you're planning on putting it on display or just you know wearing it around town so i i don't know i can't stop talking about it i love it and one more thing I almost forgot. You can also wear it with the book pages facing outward, which I also adore about it. I really think it looks so cute in that book style where you have it open or closed. But of course I love the crossbody as well. But when somebody sees it as an open book, whether it's this side or this side on your back, that's when it's like shocking to people. They're like, that's so cool. That's really cool. And then the other bag I wanted to show you today was the up wristlet I got. So 10 times out of 10, I'm probably going to be just wearing it in this wristlet mode, but it does come with another strap. So you can hook this strap through this back section here. And then whether you're wearing a dress or whatever you're wearing, if you don't have a belt, it doesn't matter. You can still wear this as a fanny pack style bag, which is really cool. But if you do have a belt on, you can just loop your belt through it, which I love as well. And I also think the nice thing about a bag this size is you can bring this in your bigger lounge fly bag. And then when you just want a small bag to carry around, you have an option for that that carries, you know, it carries my iPhone 13 Pro, which it's not the max size. So I may, I may need to check on the max size if somebody is putting a max phone in here, but it definitely carries my iPhone 13 Pro. I had a wallet in here. I had a bunch of different things in here at the same time and actually carries more than you might think. But it is really that bag for essentials. In the front pocket, I haven't taken out the padding. I did put a few hair ties in here because I was utilizing it. Um, but there's still padding that I need to take out of here. And I will. I just haven't done that yet. But you can also utilize the front pocket on this. And the thing that I love the most, the thing that like, I love this bag, I thought it was really cute, but when I saw the inner lining on it, I flipped out and I needed it. Like I saw this bag first in a video from Mickey's Girls. So shout out to Mickey's Girls for posting. She does like lounge fly reviews, quick ones like in the store where she looks at all the bags that they have and um, in the box lunch store. And this one um, I saw in her video and since then I really wanted it, but they didn't put it online. 
So I was going in box lunch to pick up another order and we happen to have a coupon. So these bags are normally $40 or so. I actually got this bag for about 25 with a coupon. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking, if you like it, but you want it to be a little less expensive. Box lunch always has like deals going on. So if you wait, you can usually, you know, get something that you want for less so it is sort of worth waiting at times as long as you don't think they're going to run out of the bag obviously i love the simplicity of the outside of this bag i love that it just has a house and the balloons and a few clouds here i think that makes it really wearable um it doesn't have a pattern on it where you'd need to really try to match it it doesn't have colors on it where you'd have to try to match it it has all the balloon colors it has this nice blue like base so I do think it will go with a ton of things on a daily basis. And if you're a big Loungefly collector and you have a lot of bags on your wall, think of how much space this will save you. So I am hoping that they continue to come out with bags that are this size, um, with different cool creations that are this size. I think they'll be really nice for those collectors that have a lot of bags or those collectors that maybe don't want to spend the price point of a larger Loungefly bag, but do want to own the cuteness that is a Loungefly bag. So yeah, those are the two Loungefly bags I wanted to show you guys today. I will be leaving a link to Cordy's Corner, specifically to the Alice bag and also a, a code that first time shoppers can use on Cordy's Corner to get 10% off. So if you use that code at checkout, you'll be able to get your Alice bag at a little bit of a discounted price. So that's always nice. And it is my referral code. So if you use it, I won't know that you used it unless you tell me, but I will get some money back for you having used that code. So no pressure, but if you want it anyway, save 10%. Anyway, with that guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video review and I hope you're having a lovely week. I look forward to talking to you soon. I have some new New Emos clothing coming in and actually an up tumbler that I'm gonna be showing as well. So hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.